Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my second video, so my part two for my beginner's guides that I'm making for this game. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to know in this part two. So first of all, let's get started. So very important, and I said it in another uh, leveling guide that I uh, made for another game too. But in this game, don't buy everything, guys. So it's very essential that you don't buy everything for the simple reason it's going to cost you way too much money and uh, yeah it's not that easy to get the money so what you need to do is be always aware that you know what you want to do if you want to go for spinning if you want to go for bobber fishing uh, you need to have a plan so you cannot go a little bit feeder fishing then you go another spinning rod then you take this then you take that no because at some point you are going to have too much rods and uh, it's, uh, how can I say it, it's going to cost you way too much money and there is not really a benefit from it. The same for, for uh, lures, lures, you got so many lures in this game, but at the end, I got 7 or 8 lures that I used the whole time and I got all the fish with it. So it's not very important that you got it all, so it's not that important. So be sure that what you buy is, and most of the time, wait a little bit too. So the thing is, if you go to uh, Old Fort, I think that's like, uh, I need to think for a moment, is that that's uh, area four. On that moment, you are going to get a very big carp, the very big uh, trophy carp. So at that moment, you are going to need some good gear. So always try to work to good gear. So for example, what did I do? So I started with this reel, like a crap reel, and then I went right away to this reel. The Express Fishing Pride, because they are very good, but they are, yeah, expensive too, but they are very good, but it's right away 7.5 kilogram test. Then I went from this reel to the Siberia Saber, he's uh, level 10, he can go to 10 kilogram reel, and then I went right away to the Siberia Gold. So this is level 10, I think, I don't think that I can see it because I'm level 22. So I think that they, oh no, this is uh, level 14, this uh, reel, this is uh, level 16, I guess. Uh, yeah, level 16, another one is level 20. So the thing is, I waited until level 14, until I went for that reel. You can, of course, go a little bit higher, but maybe the 5 is very good. But before that, don't buy them all, because it's not needed and... You cannot pay that. It, it's simple. You you are going to lose so much money. So be sure that you got a plan at the start. Watch YouTube videos. Uh, you can watch my YouTube videos too about this game if you want. Because I'm showing always the setups that I'm using. So you will see I got in total I think 4 reels that I bought in this game. And I'm level 22. So wait a little bit longer. Get the cash in. You are going to have more benefit from it. Because I see on the always guys on the streams. They buy this rod. They buy this rod. They buy this rod. They... No. Just wait a little bit. Get a little bit more money in. Just go to this rod. For example. So it's going to benefit on the long term. Uh, your game style and your money uh, stash a lot more. Okay. So don't buy everything. That's my point one. Then another thing. The hotspots. So, in this game, you got hotspots. So, it's it's not... You always got hotspots in fishing. So, be, because fish like to sit in an environment that they got a lot of food, that they got holes, that they got vegetation. That's very important. For carp, for example, they like to sit on lilies. Because, yeah, lilies is food for them. That's normal. Like, like every creature is going to sit always... Somewhere where he can get food, otherwise he dies. It's just the same here. But how does it work in this game? So I think that they are going to make a forum, an English forum. I'm not sure, but I think they are going to make it. So you got a couple of hotspots. You got a couple of hotspots that work most of the time. You got here in Old Fort, I think five, six hotspots. They always come back if you go to the forums. Guys are going to fish on that. They got their common carp. They got their. Uh... But that doesn't mean that you are going to get a very big fish on those hotspots. So every server restart, they, they change around the hotspots. Not the hotspot, but the fish in the hotspots. So sometimes you, you, you need to change it. So it's possible 
that you go to a spot one day, you got the reserve restart the other day, and that the next day you cannot catch any more fish in that spot. That's normal. So what you need to do is just watch YouTube videos, just check forums. Every week, guys are going to say, I got a trophy, crucian carp, common carp on that position. Just go fish in that, write it in a book. Because at the end, you got a book like me. In every lake, you got seven to eight hotspots. You know I'm going to catch that fish over there, and it's going to work. Of course, if you don't want to do that, you can freelance yourself. And then what you can do is just go to Wikipedia, check a fish species that you want to catch, and check what they feed, when they feed, where they feed, how they feed. And you will find a suitable spot that you think, oh, this is a very good spot for a carp. This is a very good spot for a bream. Bream like to come outside the depth on the edge of deep holes. Most of the time you can find a very big bream, for example. Catfish, holes and all that stuff. So that's a little bit hotspots, guys. That's how it works in this game. So yeah, that's uh, number two. So another thing that is very, very important, and that's the quality of the hooks. Take it from me. It's very important. So if you go here to the hooks, you will see if you click on this hook, he's going to have one and a half star. That means the quality of the hook. And the quality of the hook determines that you are going to catch a fish or that that fish is going to get loose. So I guess it's a percentage that they calculate. So for example, I use this a lot and like every five fish I got one loose. But that's very frustrating. Because if you got a very big fish on and you're like drilling for 10 minutes and at some time he just lose. Yeah, it's you feel really bad. So what I do all the time is I always fish with, with hooks that are at the minimum three and a half stars. I'm not going under that number anymore. So this hook I most of the time are using is three and a half stars. That's mean the quality. Just just buy them. Be sure that you buy them. Be sure that you don't lose them. Because otherwise you need to watch my tutorial uh, guide, beginner's guide part 1. So be sure that you don't lose them because they are very expensive. And hook is 26 silver. So that's a one day of fishing in this game, you know. But it's worth to Take it from me. It's worth to invest in a very good hook. Okay? So the next step is, uh, the next uh, hint is skills. So skills are very important. So with skills you unlock certain rigs. But it's very important that you don't invest skills random away. So the thing is, you got a limited amount of skills. So every level you got like a skill point. I think from level 20 you are going to get two skill points. But don't go on a spending uh, streak. Because you are going to spend so much uh, points that it's, it's not going to be productive for your fishing. So be sure that you know what you are doing. For example, I only spent now three points in um, feeder fishing and they give me more chance to get a trophy because all the other thing is in this game the physics of the gear are really crap sometimes you throw like an idiot so you can boost it a little bit but i'm starting to think now about making a build for my rigs without this because why do you want to cast 25 percent more and accuracy it doesn't really matter in this game so I'm still working at the build, but be sure that you guys don't start clicking everywhere. Don't go a little bit feeder. Don't go a little bit hooks. Uh, hooks, sorry, uh, bobber. Uh, don't go a little bit spinning because you are going to waste too much points. Try to check out what you want to have uh, with what you want to fish. Check, is this good? Is this bad? Just put point in it. Because if you need to respect like everything in this game, it's going to cost you five gold. And 5 gold, I'm not sure how much it is, but I think it's 10 euros. So, think about it. In the future, I'm going uh, to make a setup. What kind of skills I take, but it's still too soon. I need to figure it out myself. I need to level a little bit my skills too. So, how do you level skills? Very easy. Uh, with bottom fishing, so with feeders, I can level this skill. So, with catching fish. That doesn't mean that you need to get big fish, no. Uh, what is going to give you the most experience for leveling up skills is uh, don't stay at the same fish. It's best sometimes that you switch. I got it a couple of times. I was going like full out on the carp the whole time and I was thinking, damn, what the fuck? My, my feeder 
uh, skills are not going up. I started for roaches and brames and I got first three fish. I got an upgrade. So my skills went up. So therefore I think that you need to switch around. So you cannot stay to get uh, yeah, your skills faster up. So switch a little bit around. Be aware where you need to invest. Very important. Okay, that was uh, tip number uh, four already. And now tip number five. So I need it's going to be the, the last tip for this uh, video because I thought it was going to go a little bit faster because I wanted to do nine, but it's already 10 minutes. So your reel. So what do you need to know about your reel? So a reel got a drag and a reel got a speed in this game. So it's just the same like in Fishing Planet. So how can you put your drag higher and lower? Just with the mouse wheel check. You can go to 30 that's full drag but i would not do that because otherwise you are going to break shit and yeah that's how you do it so be sure if you get a new setup that you always start low start with track three or four the the beauty about this game is that the maximum drag on a reel is not the maximum what it can endure you can go double on it it's unbelievable but i always fish like that it's very dangerous but you can push double the amount of strength on a reel in this game. It's not like Fishing Planet if you go over the maximum drag that you break your reel. So in the future, I'm going to make a guide to how you need to make a safe setup and how you make need to make a very dangerous setup. But you are going to get the big fish faster in. Okay. Then the other thing that you guys need to know is uh how do you put your speed faster on your reel very easy just push r so here you see r retrieval speed so that's how you need to do it check so now you can get it a little bit higher how do you uh reel in very fast you just need to push shift Okay, so that was it for today, guys, uh, for this video, not for today, what I'm saying now. And I need to watch it that I don't say uh, have fun with Fishing Planet because it seems the previous video I did it. So that was it for this guide, guys. Enjoy the guide. I'm going uh, to work on the next guide. The next guide is going to be uh, going about shops, selling fish. Uh, feeders and the repairs very important that you guys know how you need to do it if you like the video give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please have fun in uh, russian fishing 4 <laughs> i almost said it again so uh thanks for watching guys bye bye